Alright, so this is two different videos conglomerated into one. I'm just going to shoot it all in one at once. This is a video response for Eric the Car Guy's What's in Your Toolbox or Shop. And this is also for the SHIF. Um, you know, you, you want to be able to fix things if you can, if you got the knowledge to. And I have the knowledge and all the crap to usually fix almost everything with. This is the service bay. I call it the service bay, but, uh, and it basically is anytime we do any service to any vehicles, we pull it into this side of the basement. I have, this is where I put all the Mac transmission fluid. That's where I will put antifreeze whenever I get any antifreeze. Pressure washer, wash customers' vehicles, my vehicle, whatnot. Another five gallon gas can. I have those all over the place. Almighty important sink, which is dirty as hell. It stays dirty. There's no way in hell to really clean that. Floor jack. Guys, you gotta have a good floor jack. I can't stress it enough to have a good floor jack. Now, this is a, I believe it's Craftsman or Sears. Uh, two-ton floor jack works okay we've had it for eons but I put my truck on it on my mom's truck and it will leak down so that's why we have jack stands and everybody should have a good set of jack stands these are uh, black jack six ton uh, jack stands and I like having heavy-duty ones because I work on heavy-duty vehicles a lot so, you need heavy duty stuff. Of course, another five gallon gas can, another five gallon gas can, a box. And here's this is actually my dad's toolbox. This is not mine. Um, but we I use it and he uses it. And all my stuff is in my truck. Which is outside. All of my tools are in my truck, in that bed box, and in the back seat. So, and then it pretty much stays open. We have some of this drawer liner stuff. I still ain't done anything with that. Top drawer has our screwdrivers. My dad bought a set of these Craftsman Evos. Um, they work great. Uh, I haven't had any problems out of them, neither has he. And it's also kind of a random, the random part. That's a gun lock. Um, these Allen wrenches here, I love these where they're all together. Um, feeler gauge. Uh, we got th uh, several of these, a handful of them around here. Um, air truck. Spark plug gapper for spark plugs. A set of these Torx bits. Um, they've got the uh, security on this end and the regular on that end. Another little couple of little random Allen wrenches. One of these little mirrors. Mirrors on little telescope things. These are great to have. Pick for O rings. This is Dad's little Craftsman tight spot uh, ratcheting screwdriver. It's great to have that. Box cutter, or a carpenter's knife, wire brush, another wire brush, those little cheap other ones. This is a this is actually a valve valve marker pen, but great for marking on metal before you cut. Another um, carpenter's knife, blower, air blower. Um, Cut off disc and some stuff for a nail grinder, electrical tape, um, and dad's long screwdrivers. This is a bolt for something. Top drawer. And we're missing one. These are gear wrench uh, ratcheting ones. Um, I love these to death. My dad actually won these. I forgot where, but he won them for something. Um, we're missing the 5 16 It's in the valley pan of my mom's truck. I think, I think these are Craftsman. Yeah, these are Craftsman. Uh, 
a little tiny stubby set of uh, U.S. wrenches. Little tiny set. Um, so there's a bunch of mites here. This one here is three sixteenths. So I've never used them, but apparently he has, so he bought them. <laughs> um, some line wrenches. Uh, these are great to have. You need to have these if you're working on brakes and stuff or anything else. Got some big wrenches up there. These are a set of these wrenches. Um, this is actually a double ended wrench, 3 8 7 16. That's a regular one. Um, these wrenches here are like this, and they're, they were before these were made. You turn them a certain way, and they go like ratchet themselves, and then you turn it the other way, tighten or loosen them. You got a small set of these. And, some other regular wrenches and stuff. Bottom drawer. This is for um, side post terminals. Metric line wrench. Metric set of wrenches I can pick up and walk away with and go to a vehicle or whatnot. Here's some other ones here. Um, these are different brand. Um, that's Craftsman. But uh, uh, it's just metric wrenches. And uh, here's a um, 3 8 stuff, metric spark plug, I believe. Yeah, spark plug. Um, there's US, and it's a metric, quarter inch, 3 8 These are a quarter inch US. Plan on getting more of these organized with a set of torques. These aren't the security bit ones that go on 3 8 drive. Um, that door there. This door here is our half inch. We don't have a lot of half inch metric and US on these and some metric and US deep wells. All the breaker bar, all the ratchets, these little quarter inch nut drivers, some extensions and stuff. Um, ball joint splitter or uh, tie rod in, sorry. Um, extensions, speed handle, dad's torque wrench, some more extensions and stuff. This door's got some vice grips and some pliers, some punches. These are straight all over the place. This punch set here, I need to collect them all. Spring tool for brakes, jaw puller. Um, another set of vice grips, another roll of electrical tape to go up there. Some scissors and uh, snap ring pliers. This door here has our auto ingenuity reader, my. Uh, Impact driver. I'm gonna close. There we go. And my uh, die grinder. Use that quite frequently. And this is just a drill for going on a drill wire brush. Stick that on the end. Love it. We've got some cutoff discs and whatnot in there for it. It's kind of our electrical drawer. Some, some crap on stuff, some fuses, some primary red wire, fusible link wire. Some more, this has some more crimp on and wire nuts in it, which you don't use those on on auto in the auto industry. You don't use them on house wiring. This has some pliers and a good set of crimpers. Good set. This little deal here is great for finding out if there's power to a wire. Works on everything. There we go. Does that when you have power. Um, great. It's a great little tool. Um, some other little, some screwdrivers and some pliers and stuff. That's, that's just add the little wiring kit for house wire mainly. And some wood glue and some super glue. Back socket set. Goes from half to seven eighths, and then it goes uh, 13, 16, 17, 19, and 21 mil. And um, we're missing a half inch socket. I have no idea where it went. Dad's impact with some short sockets that it came with, and a ratchet. And a Milwaukee drill and an angle grinder. 
Dad's magnetic bowl. My magnetic bowl, which actually needs to go back in my truck. Creeper. My drill. Uh, that's reloading stuff. We got all sorts of parts and some aerosol. Extra aerosol cans are in here. It's got lubricants and carburetor cleaning and whatnot. Diesel fuel additive. We run that quite frequently. Other additives, fuel additives, safety glasses, some air muffs and stuff. We got all sorts of electrical parts and parts and stuff up there. There's my little literature section. It's got Northern Tools catalog and some ma manuals that we have for vehicles. You know the little parts bin that's got screws and whatnot. Radio. Got to have your tunes while you're working. Workbench. Uh, so, um, this is where I put all my used oil at. And need to go work light so you don't say that. Top shelf, extra relay for my glow plugs, extra terminal, extra set of pins for my front brakes and bulbs, some sort of the uh, settee fitting for heater cores so you can flush them. Some more bulbs, some mass, a new new thing of air hose for the air compressor, and two four foot washing machine things. And this right here is the axle nut for Sterling ten and a quarter or Ford ten and a quarter. I had to do axle seals on my truck, so I just bought that. And one, two, three, four new um, 18 inch wiper blades, tarp, road flares, guys. Now, and a whole like 10 pack of electrical tape. Um, no, air freshener. Uh, next thing down, we got some of these bulbs. It's kind of a little part steel. It's an extra belt for my lawnmower. That there's some level thing, really more or less for carpentry work, but uh, we'll stick it in here. This is a antifreeze tester. I have no, I really I have no idea how to use it. I have to ask my dad. Some white lithium grease in a tub. Former gasket. Some like uh, this is relay oil, sil silicone oil, some aluminum polish for stuff. This is our little box that's got caliper grease in it, rubber gasket adhesive, some Loctite, high temp silicone, synthetic caliper grease, didn't know they had synthetic version, anti-seize, um, a knockout punch set ball bearing. For sheet metal, and you can use it. I've used it on. Uh, oh well, it won't open, but use it for real light gauge sheet metal, real thin sheet metal, and stuff. Twisties. Oil filter for a Honda. Oil seal for my dad's van. Extra slave cylinder for my truck. Another fuel filter for my dad's van. My when I did the transmission on my car, um, of course you know we bought one of these filter kits. It had a cork uh, gasket on there, and cork doesn't leak, so huh, I got the gasket in case the cork one does start leaking, and replace it. Some extra glow plugs. These are all okay. These are all auto lights. Replaced the guys that he we put. I put motocross in his so it wouldn't swell up. If one of mine dies, I got these at least. Um, six glow plugs for an older Chevy Astra van. Six so. Uh, fuel filter, uh, fuel filter for 73 power stroke and O-rings for it. Uh, this is a Wix filter for my truck, fuel filter, and oil filter for it. 
Zawzaw with a hand metal saw. It's got all our old wrenches in there. Um, uh, refrigerant. Some of the wood pen thingies. Some quarter inch hose for oil return lines and whatnot. A pulley that needs a bearing. Vacuum and fuel pressure gauge tester. Steering wheel cover. Full spring compressor, strut compressor, and the freezer oil. Dad's tile saw, which you can really can't see it anymore. My welding helmet, another tile, still some sticks, my welder. A finishing nailer, floor jack for hardwood flooring, along with the nailer for it. Dad circular saw and. That's carpet that I put across some boards and a sawhorse so I can kneel on it when I'm working on trucks. Over here we got let's say, a bypass oil system for a van. My dad might put that on there. A gallon of brake fluid, which there's not a gallon left in there anymore. It's like a quarter of it. Some motor oil. More motor oil. More aerosol cans. That's paint. Lubricants, penetrants, all that stuff, power steering fluid, whatnot. Let's have an old dry. There's all my funnels, some paint cleaner and oil and antifreeze and whatnot. And over here we got some big drill bits and screws and nuts and some crampons and whatnot. <laughs> Dad's gold wing. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. But, uh, you know, here's our metal thing. Eventually, we'll haul this off. There's a CV joint for my sister Subaru. And it's busted. Um, and uh, it's the extra metal I can use to make things with. And that's, that's for the rim that's outside split. Um, use it for a little fire ring, whatnot. Rags, got plenty of rags. Instill the water for when you do, um, uh, when I do any free stuff. Trash can. And guys, that's pretty much it. Now in my dad's table saw, and I guess you call that miter saw over there. And the axe that I broke the handle to. I need to get a new handle for it. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the tools or want to review or want want to see how that tool works or whatnot, uh, comment, send me a message or something, and uh, I'll get to it. Oh, and Dad's welder. How about that? So, um, and the generator. All right. Oh, air compressor. Got to have an air compressor. If you don't have an air compressor. Well, life sucks. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you got any questions about anything, just shoot me a comment or whatever, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.